Hi everyone, it is me, Jordan Long here, and today I'm going to talk about, you might not, you can't see them, but you always know they're around. So, yeah. Alright, hold on. Hi everyone, it is me, Jordan Long here, and today I'm going to talk about is melatonin strong or weak? Because it always seems to be hit and misses with taking it or any kind of sleep help. So, let's see. Do you think melatonin is a hit and miss? I don't know. Everyone says it's like misleading. It's like there's two things on the back of the can. One tells you, oh, you should take it at bedtime. Another tells you, no, you should take it before bedtime. So, what would you do? I don't know. I guess you got to do what you think is going to work for you. Yeah, well, I know some nights it helps me. Other nights it does not. Well, a lot of folks say that whatever the English word for this stuff is, they say that it's only meant to get one to sleep, uh, run and lead back to the way it was, that it was never meant to be a full-time heel. Yeah, well that might be true, but I think it's got to be weak. I mean, anything that gives you a hit and miss got to be weak. Well then what time you think you should take it? I don't know. I'm guessing tonight I'd have to take it about 9, so we're ready to go to sleep about 10. But then that's going to be a hit and miss, because then Friday comes, well, I guess it would be the same answer then. On Monday, it would have to be a, it would have to be at 10. Tuesday, it'd have to be at 9. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't be taking this stuff if I didn't have a hang-up getting to sleep. My hang-up is never, never be, never keeping asleep like some it's getting to sleep and sadly this is going and sadly everyone out there seems to believe that all oh, the only thing you should do is just lay down and and, and 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 let it happen other folks will tell you things like oh well you need you need the well you need to, you, you can do some reading and writing oh go on a reckon or what's the farseer yeah, or well, that stuff gonna keep you awake? Yeah, sleep bind or a sleep hang up is a hang up that one has to go in it alone. One can't ask for help because no one can help them. And everyone always likes to be down on sleeping help all the time. They like to escape how oh, like it's some kind of game and you're not and you're it's unfair. Yeah, well, it's unfair for me, and it's unfair for everyone else, and I just wonder, and it's a wonder if I don't wake anyone up. Well, yeah, fuck it, you think they're going to tell you if you woke them up? No. Some of these folks won't let you know if you did until the next day. But, I don't know. But I think it's got to be a hit and miss. I think that when you, when you get a can of something, you never know what the good one is and what the bad one is. For all you know, there could be ones where they're too weak and they're too strong and you won't know because they look alike. You know? Yes. And I know there's going to be someone out there saying, Oh, well, you shouldn't be taking anything to help you sleep because that'll just make it worse. No, the hang-up is, you know, what makes it worse. You folks saying that I make, what makes it worse is when you say it's a game and I'm, and I'm not playing it fair. You know? And I think sometimes it's a hit and miss. Because I think sometimes there's good ones and bad ones, and you won't know because they all look alike. You know? 
and the unfairness of it is is I mean not I can't get to sleep without something to help me that's the unfairness it's not some game and you know one thing I want to say for end this film is I hate when folks handle sleeplessness like it's some kind of game and if you're taking something they look down them they look down upon you as if oh you're doing wrong or as if it's a game and you're not playing it fair or something. Like there's some kind of oversight that says, well, you can't take any sleep help. Yeah, I know. Folks always have this, you know, they always got this scathing, they always scave sleep help, they always say it's the wrong thing to do, and they always talk about all this other stuff like, oh, you should keep your room cold, you should keep your room dark, oh, you should do this and do that only work your bed for sleeping and love making blah 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 you know don't go on the reckoner don't go on the far seer at this time cut back on how much you're drinking and how much what you eat and all other fucking shit that they think that that's how you're supposed to do it they think that if you're doing if you're not if you're doing any other way jordan they think you're cheap like you think you're being unfair yeah well would say someone did all that but would still be a hit and miss for them because some nights they would work and some nights it would not work but it's sad it truly is sad so folks you can shame me and scave me and guilt me and slight me all you want for taking something to help me get to sleep and some nights it, some nights it worked right away and other nights it does not and that seems to be the hit and miss of all sleep help out there. He's in the ones that your healer would give to you if you somehow were lucky enough to get your healer to take your sleep help, your sleep hang up, earnest enough to give you something. So anyway, that's all the time it is. I'm Jordan Long, and if you like this film, then follow me over here at Jordan Long. Watch the last film I made yesterday over here, which... I don't know, I forget what I made a film on. But it was a good film. I'm sorry, I forget what it was. And I really can't, I can't really maximize this film or look at it. But it was a good film. Alright. Oh, it had Khalid. No, it was when I went to Starbucks again. There it is. When I went to Starbucks again. Bye.